Hello and welcome to the Google Local Citation Finder introduction video. In this video I'm going to take you through uh, the introduction of how the software works, what you can do with it, what, it par what its powerful features are, and how you're going to use it for your uh, Google Places marketing for your business as well as for your clients. The software basically uh, has got two tabs to it. One is Google Places Pack Finder and the other is Google Places Citations Finder. For those of you who have been doing Google Places marketing for a while, you will know that citations are the life of the Google Places place pages and they are absolutely important in order to get ranked on Google First page, especially for competitive keywords. And the more you have of those citations, the better. The, the recent things that I've noticed about Google Places listings is that Google is actually listing different citation sites for different niches or business categories. So if you have a business category such as a restaurant, it, the citation sites that come up for a restaurant are usually very different to what will come up for a lawyer, for instance. And that basically varies from country to country and if city to city as well. And depending on how many local citation sites are available in Google's eyes, or d down to even the city, town, or suburb level in some instances. This not only varies by city, but obviously will vary by country as well. So Google likes local citation sites of the local country that the business belongs to. For example, for some of the articles that I've read online, Yelp has been given a lot of importance. Uh, but what you have to understand is that Yelp, for instance, is only uh, effective in, in the US. I'm not sure if it's effective in the UK or not, but sites like Yelp and others that are being preached online in the articles are actually only relevant for the particular country that the article is written for. Uh, not, not all of the information in the articles is not uh, relevant, but in the case of citations, all the citations that Google tends to pick up on its place pages are uh, highly localized websites. With the software you just don't have to keep digging each Google Place. Uh, so basically the software what it does is it goes through and it does all the tedious work for you, goes out and pulls out each of the citation sites and I'll show you I'll show you more of that in the software demo. Uh, and I'll come back to this this page and to tell you the features of so the the two sections of the software has one is the Google Places Pack Finder. What basically does is goes out to the front page and finds out which of his keywords are giving uh, Google Places results in page one. So I've just pasted uh, my, my target keywords here. Bear in mind that this is only to do with Italian restaurants and I'll explain to you why. Um, uh, you, when you're doing Google citations, you want to stick to a certain niche that you're able to pull out citations for that niche. If you mix up restaurants or Italian restaurants with a lawyer so you're going to cloud, cloud the results because the software tells you the popularity count based on the keywords that you provided so you don't want to mix up the two niche categories because of the reasons I've explained earlier that Google actually takes citation sites on the basis of the business type that is being searched for so with that out of the way I'll just select those keywords add my um, whoops add my prefix, put that across, remove the prefix, add a suffix, take that across, select my country, in this case I've got Australia, and get my uh, pack finder results. Now for those of you who've actually used my previous pack finder, which I've given away for free, which is still available for free, by all means go ahead, go ahead and download that, uh, you will see that some of the features here uh, are new and uh, it's a far more a better user interface. Um, so now you've got uh, the place count results. So basically, just to uh, for those who, who don't know how this works, uh, Sydney Italian restaurants is pulling up seven place pages results on the first page, and so on. That's what it actually just means. So if we look at an example, Sydney Italian restaurants, if we type that in the Google search box. That brings up seven results, so you can see that it's got A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, so that makes seven results. Then what you do is, so I can come down here and select my keywords. Yeah, I could select all of them if you, if I wanted to, but I'm just going to select six of those and copy keywords and bring them over to the Citations Finder tab, paste it in there. I can do the same prefix and suffix stuff that, that I just did earlier, but we'll just pass on that for now and just select it to my send it over to my selected keywords list. 
Now over here I, I recommend five keywords. Um, the reason for recommending five keywords is that usually five keywords is a good representation of how many citation sites are being used. Now five results, five, five keywords is also another a recommendation because some of the place pages have got a huge number of citations so it could take a very long time for, this, for the software to go out and bring all the citation sites for multiple keywords. Having said that, there's no restriction on the software. You can use it for as many keywords as you like because some businesses would have one or two citations depending on the niche or the category you're targeting. Then you select the number of businesses that you want to pull out from the first page. So what this actually means is on the first page of Google, like we saw over here, we've got seven results. You're instructing the software to pick out only the first five. So it's going to go A, B, C, D, E and pull out the citations for that for each of the keywords. So for each of those f keywords that we've chosen it's going to go out and pull out the first five businesses. When it pulls out the citations it actually doesn't duplicate the businesses. Uh, if a business is appearing for all, more than one of those keywords that business is going to get ignored when the citations are, uh, citation sites are being pulled out in order to avoid duplication. So you get a more accurate result as a result of that. Then you go on and click your uh, select your country. I'm just going to stick with Australia for now and get citations. Uh, when I click and get citations, it's going to take a while, so I'll pause the video and get back. And I'll tell you how much time it took to bring out these citations. There's a lot of citations to pull out, so we'll come back and see those in a second. Okay, so the results have arrived and took about three to four minutes to get uh, all the results down here. What you'll notice now, the way to read this is that this is the citation site, this is actually the URL itself only it's not the full citation that it found and I'm going to show you how to see the full citation in just a second um, so the way to read this is ignore the ID um, that's the URL of the citation, that's the number of times it's appearing in all the businesses so that's sort of a popularity count um, nine is not the highest, I think we've got high results here at the bottom there's a, there's a little bug in the sorting, but we'll fix that later on. So it's 11 is the max. So totaltravel.com.au is the most popular citation. After that, we've got ozeating.com.au, um, and then we've got tablesonline.com.au, and yellowpages.com.au, and hotfrog, and so on. What you'll notice over here is that all of these are .com.au sites, and that's what I was trying to emphasize earlier, regardless of which... Uh, oh, actually, it's extremely important that your citations are local to the country and to the city that that the business exists in. Um, having said that, there are some .com ones, but but the dominant you can see that even the .com ones, um, the dominant the dominant ones are uh, Aussie. So Aussie True Blue .com. It's still very Australian. Then you can click on Detailed View. The detailed view will give you all of the citations, so you get all the URLs, the full URLs, uh, and that's going to be for the particular business. So the other feature over here, you, you can drop down the keyword, so you can select the keyword that you want, and it's going to give you the results for that particular keyword. So all the detailed results for that keyword, all the details for that keyword, all the details for that keyword, and so on. And you could do the same drop-down stuff for over here. Yeah, so it'll give you the details for that keyword, that keyword, and that keyword, and so on. Uh, we'll go back to all, and you can export to CSV, you can copy these to the clipboard and paste them wherever you want. You can double click on this, so it'll take you straight to the website itself. And you can start adding citations one by one as you go that simple really just you can double click on the detailed view links as well and it'll take you to the websites just wanted to go through the features with you Google local citation finder is a desktop software there's there's no restrictions on it there's no monthly or yearly payments to be made to access the citation sites you can explore as many niche sites and keywords that you want as many categories as you want there is no limit on the number of searches per day per hour there is no number on, limit on the number of keywords, although I recommend a maximum of five. But you've seen just now that we've done more than five, and it's worked just fine. No restrictions on the number of results either. 
complete and customizable built-in control of search engine courtesy that's one feature I haven't shown you so let me show you that what it does is if you go to file and delay settings what it does is basically for every business that it that uh, the software has been through the citations of it pauses for three seconds by default so you can actually change that setting as you like but the default setting is three seconds once it's been through one business for each of those keywords uh, the reason we've done that is to uh, to make sure that Google doesn't ban your IP address because if you make too many queries too quickly then Google will ban you temporarily so we've avoided that and depending on the number of citations there are per business you can actually start tweaking that but generally three works fine uh, for even for a high citation uh, keywords oh, such as restaurants we're going through the features so deep exploration of registered sites the software keeps collection uh, keeps collecting citation sites and place pages no matter how many pages or how many citations a business has so even if a place page has got like 30 pages of citations it's going to collect all of them it's, even if it has citations only in the first page to obtain things as well. You can choose the number of businesses you would like to explore citation sites for. Uh, it's very quick uh, software. Um, you can do it for 41 countries. I'll show you the list of countries in just a second. We know that it summarizes the citation sites by priority. You can filter the results by keyword. The results, the software also contains a detailed view which shows all the URLs. Would the software automatically filters and du duplicate results so if you're you can click on the URLs and it'll take you to the site uh, it's integrated with the school local uh, pack finder you can export it to as many mediums as you like copy it or export it and these are the current countries that are supported if your country is missing let me know and I'll allow that on for you so that's all I have to say about Google Google Local Citation Finder. Please feel free to filling out the contact form on the on the page. If there's anything else you want to know, let me know, and I'll try and answer those questions for you as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll look forward to uh, making the software available to you.